Hi guys. Maybe hi guys. As usual, my computer's being weird. I'll just chill here for a little bit. Oh, heck yeah. Hey guys. How y'all doing? Hey, Lily, first one to the gym. Happy Thursday, you guys. <laughs> my bun's out of control. I'm out of control. Hey, hey, grunge mania, Stacy and maybe Adam. Hello. guys. We're painting a giraffe today. Heavily, heavily, heavily requested. Adam and Stacy are painting. We've got mystified pair. We've got the Lawsons. Hey, everybody. Carrie loves giraffes. Well, it's a good day for you to be here. Hey, you're going to paint your own today, and that's the best news. BBG Melly, hello. How are you doing? Guys, I'm joined the drinkers today. Hello everyone, all the gorgeous souls is right. Hey Becca, good to see you. On Becca's birthday, you guys, she just painted the frog. That's exciting. You're excited for a giraffe? First time tuning in live. Oh, the title. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. I literally just sat down thinking I had a bunch of time and I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, it's eight. Quarantine Thursdays. Paint a giraffe with Tay Tay Ski. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I'll still need to do glasses, you'll send me a picture. Cool. Too many margaritas. I love that. I'm probably have, I already probably had too much wine today, guys. It's gonna be interesting. The bun is high, yet yeah, the higher the hair, the closer to God is what I've been saying, right? <laughs> okay, has the title been changed? Let's see. Hello, everybody. Look at all these familiar faces. Chicken Lady, always great to see you in there. Thanks for the props, you guys. Starting off the show with some proppies. Title is fixed. Beautiful. Hey, guys, I've been having a day. I've been up since I woke up at 2.30, and I've been, like, clients, phone calls, Paintings, dinner, now. It's been go, go, go. And I decided I hate eyeliner, so I'm not wearing it today, okay? No more fake eyelashes falling off and attaching to my computer like last time. Oh, weird, I just noticed I don't have my ring on and I feel naked. Uh, okay, hello, everyone. <laughs> There's some new folks in here. Oh, the Riz is back, good to see you. Um, we're painting a giraffe today, okay, guys? I am going to focus more on the face. I just thought it would be just more fun in a sense for us to do a full giraffe face as the body's a little bit more simple than, uh, I feel like most of you could figure out a body, but I could be wrong. Um, I just think that we'll have a lot more fun doing the face. Okay. Do it with our good old shapes. Look, I even put it up already. Look at the good old shapes. We're going to start with for that giraffe face. He looks hilarious in shape form, if you ask me. Do you guys want to know what's funny? There's a, are you in here today already? A girl is telling me who joins the paint nights that her boyfriend only paints on Thursdays because I drink on Thursdays and I'm funnier when I drink, apparently. <laughs> I died. I thought that was hilarious. P.S. If you didn't get a Tay Tay's Mother's Day card, you missed out. A hundred percent, Cassie. Did your mom get yours yet? I sent it like a minute after you ordered it. It's Thursday. We have, guys, if you still want to send a Mother's Day card, like I'll still send it. Better late than never. Ah, oh, CR. Thanks for sharing the broadcast, you guys. Haven't heard, but you'll love it. Perfect. Your mom asked you which one she got. <laughs> okay, that's the funny part. I was like, am I... Can I gift my mother a Mother's Day card that I have publicly posted and sold for retail? <laughs> Can I give my mom that? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Lots of yellows and browns for tonight, 100%. I'm probably going to paint it literally with like pure yellow and pure orange because I'm a freaky, colorful girl like that. <laughs> but you don't have to. Go for browns when I go for oranges. Remember, it's the same technique no matter what color, okay? Um, we've still got some time. we got five minutes. You guys missed Frenchie Tuesday. You got It was an adorable day, right? Who out there was here for Frenchie Tuesday and how fun was it? Frenchies are my favorite. 
you guys, the dog that uh, we were using as a reference, the little like Haru from Griffin Frenchie, they like shouted me out. They were so excited. They're gonna paint it too. And I love that. Uh, Alyssa's here too. Apparently I was not special enough for her to mention. <laughs> Hello, Alyssa. I assumed you were here. I assumed, I hoped. Maybe it was just wishful hoping. <laughs> Okay, you guys, uh, what the music we're listening to today, same as yesterday, is YouTuber background music on Spotify. Love the top button. Thanks, guys. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Can we get a cutie counter? It's already started. <laughs> Watch out, guys. The cuties are coming. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> Cause now you guys are gonna think I'm just saying it on purpose, but I, it's literally like the fourth, not the fourth, I don't know why I said fourth. It's the first word to come to my mind. I say it all the time. All right, let's slowly get it ready. It's, it's coming along. People are still trickling in. You found yourself saying that now, so thanks for that. Hey, no problem. I love when people send in their pictures or like tag me in their stories and they're like, look at this cutie Frenchie. And I'm like, gotcha. <laughs> I don't know where it came from for me either, to be honest. Uh, it's just always been in my vocabulary. Cutie's a good word. See, it is. I agree, Lisa, I agree. Okay, for you guys who are new, let's go over a couple things before I forget. Um, picture references are always great to have to look at, uh, to know what you're painting, where we're going. I put them on the side here, but they might be small for some of you. If you want to do a different picture of a giraffe, Google giraffe, use any one you want. All the shapes will be very similar. Um, if you would like to start with pencil, that's super cool too. I teach it with paint. Um, it's just, to me, it's a little bit easier, but some people like the hand of pencil better and I get that. So just don't press too hard because your graphite will get a little dusty and it will start mixing with your paints and they will get gray and muddy and you'll be pissed. Okay, so someone let me know if that happens to you. I can uh, help a little bit later on. What else? Have a rag or a paper towel or like an old t-shirt, something to uh, wipe away mistakes or to uh, tap your brush on to dry off. What else, guys? Trust the process. Um, that's my favorite word of the week. Um, you have to make sure that you keep going through the whole way. Don't give up because your giraffe's gonna look weird as heck. Like, look at this little shape up here. Like, that's weird. It's gonna look weird and you might get disheartened, but I promise you that in the last five minutes, your painting will come together and you'll be so proud and so happy because there's a lot of people here. There's over 50 of you. Well, okay, maybe not all of you have been here before, but a lot of people here can say that, right? You guys, that's the process. Um, you can't mess up. Just like Justin's saying, you can't mess up at all. Uh, we can paint over anything. Um, if, let me know if you guys are using pencil crayons or anything, that process is a little bit different than acrylic paint and I sometimes forget when I'm going through, so yell at me if you are. And, um, yeah, look, trust the process. Everyone's yelling, trust the process. If you're not at the same point as me, do not worry. I always slow down. I stop while you guys can catch up. I show everyone else's pictures, which is fun. Like, if you want to give me some of your updates, like you see on the bottom here, send me a DM, DM on Instagram at Taytayski and I'll show where everyone else is at and it's so fun um, to see all the different drafts. They're supposed to look different. That's the beauty of it, okay? Um, yeah, like Rachel said, the flamingo was literally a number two. We painted the flamingo at a number two. I'll just uh, link that video at the end here for the YouTubes if you guys wanna try it. Um, okay, thanks you guys for all helping me out with that there. Uh, Justin did also make another good uh, point please ask questions. Like, don't feel like you are bothering me or interrupting the class or a nuisance because a lot of people message me thinking that they're being nuisances. But you asking a question could help somebody else at home who's having the same problem or somebody watching the YouTube video later on. Who knows, okay? This is a safe space, okay? We're all gonna have fun. All right, let's do this is right, Madge. Right at, at 810 on the dot, we're ready to go. Take out your pencils if you're using pencils, pencil crayons, whatever. I'm gonna take out pure yellow, you guys. Okay. If people care, I'm using cadmium yellow. I never know like how exact people are. This is from Jersey and Jenny. Oh, 
doing to you guys? Shay has all the colors. She's ready to go. I love it. I know you've been ad-libbing on the last couple paintings, and that's okay, too. Okay, cheers, everybody. Take a breath. Tink, with whatever you're drinking. Take a breath. Take her easy. Don't be stressed out. It's supposed to be fun. Oh, my Atlanta. Okay. I'm starting with a little brush. Whatever small brush you have, okay? She's small. She's thin. Whoop. And we're going to start with the classic chocolate milky consistency that we always talk about. So that's by putting your paintbrush in the water, right? And kind of scooping water onto your pat. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, cheers, Lisa. There we go. Um, kind of scoop some water onto your palette, whatever you're using. And you're going to mix a little bit of yellow in there. You want more water than paint because this is going really watery. We're just doing a rough outline that we're going to paint over later. Again, if you're using pencil, go really lightly too. If you're using whatever, go lightly. This is just to roughly map out where we're going. So before you start any painting, always make sure you look at the whole canvas and kind of try to imagine where you're going to fill it out because it's very common for people to like draw super small and not utilize the whole space. So. Keep that in mind. You can kind of like roughly draw out in the air where you want things to go. I do that all the time. Okay, and we're gonna start with just a circle, just a little circle of where the giraffe's head's gonna be. Okay. Last time I led you guys astray with the French bulldog, so. Okay. There's a nice circle. Remember, he's gonna have ears, so you wanna make sure there's space for the ears. He's gonna have little antlers or whatever. Make sure there's space for the antlers. Wow, well, there's like some crazy hairs going on, and we're just gonna let them live today. Okay. And see how, like, I can show it close again. There's, it's very watered down. It's gonna dry so lightly. Oh, it's so blurry, you can't even tell. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, webcam. Maybe not. Oh, and now just the whole world's blurry. There we go. And you guys can see, like, I did a circle a couple times to try to get the circle the right shape. It's totally okay if it's messy. All right. Now, we are going to draw the oval of his nose. He's got, like, a long snout, right? So you're going to start kind of in the middle of your circle. You can even put a dot if you just want to need a point to visualize. We're going to do a long oval. Okay, it's going to look weird. But that's okay. People coming to watch right now are going to be like, what in tarnation are these people painting? <laughs> Eggplant emoji, yeah. <laughs> to keep it PG, exactly. Okay. You are gonna do just a quick and easy little rectangle. Me. And another one. Me. That's easy. And we say trust the process, exactly. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are all just getting into my key phrases, my key words. Very important. Hello, official, eh, let me see, official Astra. Well, you know, we're just painting a giraffe. Casually. <laughs> okay. What are we doing next? We are doing, this is gonna be a little odd. It's okay if it's not exact, exact, but we're gonna draw another circle at the end of that snout. But if you can see in the picture we have here, the circle goes a little bit off on the right-hand side, but not the left. So we are just going to do a nice little circle at the bottom of our oval, but it's going to kind of come, I'll show you closer. It comes over this edge, but not that one. Does that make sense? It's not centered in the little eggplant. <laughs> and don't even forget, I think this giraffe would look super cute with like a blue background or something. We'll, I always forget backgrounds with you guys, so don't worry, we'll do that today. Okay. Don't be scared to tell me to slow down because I'm going to keep going. All right. We have, what do we got next? Uh, let's do some eyeballs. Okay. 
So remember, giraffes are cute. They have these like long foreheads. So we're gonna go kind of about a little bit, maybe an inch down from that big nost nostril eggplant that we drew. I just got some yellow on there. And we're gonna draw the circles of their eyeballs outside of the circle that we drew. Their heads are gonna be a little bit bigger than the initial circle, but giraffe's eyes are quite far on the outside, right? So we are going to draw a good old circle right there. Whoop. And remember, if you're using pencil, you, it's, you can still be doing pencil at this point. Oh, the eggplant's dripping. <laughs> well, that's awkward for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Didn't even notice. It's probably gonna happen again. It looks like there's. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Are we happy with that? That's good, clean fun. It is good, clean fun. You're <laughs> you're right. Also, hi, vacancy kills. I didn't see you in there. Okay, so we can you guys see it's kind of bad. And bad. Oh look, he's crying as well. Like things are getting wild in here today. But that shows you guys how watered down it is. Okay, yeah, see it's really hard. Let's just, I'm gonna bring you closer for now because yellow's just, I probably should have did it in orange for you guys to see better. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is what we're drawing uh, over here. This is what we are drawing. Um, let's see, I'm gonna hold it close so that you guys can kind of see where we're at at the moment. Oh my gosh, just the world's falling apart for us today, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Uh, just, you guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I'm just gonna add some orange to those lines so that you guys can see what's happening. Of course, do it if you want, but it's not actually supposed to be part of the lesson. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a circle eyeball. We got another circle eyeball, right? Can you guys see that better? Is that cool? We've got... The eggplant, cool, cool, cool. We've got the weird circle snout. I'm stoked, yellow's my favorite color and I finally have good quality yellow paint. And you know why Stacy does have good quality paint? Because she went to Mona Lisa and got the Tea Tasty paint package. Am I right? Some shameless promotion there. I checked in with the ladies and they said a lot of you guys have been going and that's awesome. I'm so pumped that local is also Thriving. Okay. Can you guys see that now? <laughs> so for you guys, yellow is great because yellow, even though we're doing this really, um, what you call it, thin, light layer, yellow is extra light, so it's easier to cover up as well. So, okay, cool. Now we're back on track. Let's do some ears, okay? So the ears are right above his eyeballs. We're just going to do a weird loop up. Whoop. It looks like you're gonna draw an antler almost, or like a, like a bull horn. Not bull horns. <laughs> what am I trying to say? They're horns, right? It looks like an ox, maybe? And then you're gonna sharpen it off with a half line. I feel like its ears might, should be a little bit bigger actually. But there we go. We're sharpening off the top of our horns. And then you're gonna do another loop. Their ears are so cute. Was that too fast? Cause that's how fast my brain's going today, you guys. A million miles a minute. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically a giraffe head. Crazy I know. And I'm just gonna do his little neck. So it's not far from the top of his eyeball. You're just gonna do a line down. Me. <laughs> I 
I love the shape. <laughs> the shape stage makes me laugh. And then you take the bottom line and it gets just a little wider at the bottom. You can even like curve it in a little bit maybe. I don't know, whatever you want. Right? Done, giraffe guys, boom. How easy is that? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, see you. Good night. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> okay. You can still have yellow on your brush. Um, if you have a paint, if you're using um, a pencil, I mean, you don't fully have to do this part right now. But if you want, you can do their little furs at the moment. We're using the same watery concoction of yellow for you guys, or orange if you want. And you're just gonna brush out. Be conscious of your brush strokes and the direction you want it to go. Ping, ping, ping. We are gonna come back to this many times, this little, his little hair, okay? So no stress, pencil people, if you don't do this right now. But this is just kind of a way to get some color laid down that we will layer over top of after, okay? Okay, so some people it sounds like they're bringing browns and stuff that they want them to be natural colored, super cool. Follow kind of roughly the same, like when I use bright yellow, you would use tan or yellow with white in it or whatever. And when I use orange, you would use brown or uh, burnt sienna or whatever colors you guys want, okay? Just cause it wouldn't be me if I didn't just uh, throw a bunch of crazy colors in there, right? Okay. Take out your yellow, <laughs> which we already have, but we're gonna be using it a little bit thicker now. We're not gonna be using our watery concoction that we have made. Okay. We're taking out a medium size brush. Whatever one you want, it can be rounded, it can be square, it can be whatever. So pencils, if you were deciding to use paint at this point, beautiful. You can even like erase some of the little lines if you want. We can talk about that after. Um, but you can come to paint now if you want. If you're watercoloring, it's a little bit different because what we as acrylic painters are gonna be doing is we put, we work dark to light. Um, so we're gonna be putting down like right now pure yellow. And then to show some more depth, we'll be putting in another layer of yellow with light on top. But if you're watercolor, you can't really put lighter colors on top of darker colors, okay? So for you guys, you have to squint at that little giraffe right now and see where the darker colors are. And that's where you will be putting your color and layering your color and you won't be painting where the light colors are. Sorry if that's confusing and annoying, but I feel like I've not said that in other ones and I've just led watercolors astray. And that for sure goes with pencil crayoners as well. You can't paint white over top with a white pencil crayon. It doesn't really work. So you want to be conscious of where your whites are. Okay. But for the rest of us acrylic painting, we're going to make sure our paintbrush is wet. You are going to mix it in with your paint on your palette so that every bristle has yellow in it. Okay. And you're just gonna start filling in your giraffe. So for people who have pencils, like you can erase these connecting uh, lines. For us, we're just gonna paint right over them. So I'm gonna have to add a little bit of orange in mine to paint right over it then. Okay. And you are gonna bring the paint right above these eyes. If you're doing a natural color giraffe, would we use yellow or a darker brown? So I would use just like a darker brown. So if you look at the regular giraffe here, he's like, oops, he's over here. Um, he's like tan colored, right? He's kind of almost white. So you would be using your like light brown or uh, light yellow, and we'll just be adding more white on top of that to make it almost pure white. Does that work? Did that answer the question? And when it comes to their eyes, guys, <laughs> they um, you are going to bring a paint swatch right over top. They have these funny little eyebrows, right? 
So you're gonna go right above the eyeball to connect to his head. To make kind of like eyebrows. Does that make sense? He kind of looks like sad at the moment. Neat. You're going to bring a line down right from the bottom of his eyeball and connect it right to the top of the weird snout circle. Do you see a giraffe? I see him. <laughs> and realistically, same on this side, but it's not as, he's kind of looking a little bit to the side, so this line is a little bit closer to, and it just goes straight down. And you're still coloring in. I'm just gonna leave those spots so people can see those lines a little bit better, but you feel free to color those in. If you feel like your giraffe's forehead should be a bit bigger, you can fill in that line too. Sorry guys, I know it's confusing that mine's a little bit orangey, but it's just, had to go that way with the doing the outline in orange. I have to acknowledge that next time that yellow doesn't work for you guys to see. There's gonna be some blending in this one. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Oh, frozen. You can color in that little snout. See, we're gonna paint it all this singular color, and then we're gonna paint on top its spots, on top of the color. We're not gonna paint around them, if that makes sense. Okay. And always be conscious of your brush strokes, everyone, um, of the direction that you're putting them, because the direction can really help you show shape as well. So. That's kind of where we did this big oval circle here. This is where his long snout goes. So when I've put the paint on there, I'm gonna go just up and down. If you didn't do that, if you went ahead, because I didn't tell you that early, that's totally okay. You can go over top that spot once it's dry and go in the one direction and it will solve that problem. And two, it's totally okay if we can see a little bit of the shape underneath that we drew, that's cool. Gonna be coloring his whole neck too. You actually colored the eyes. Hey, that's cool. The eyes are gonna be black, so you could color them in. Black goes over anything. No stress. See guys, no mistakes. It's fine. Everything can be solved. <laughs> And like to bring up an example of the um, French bulldog session or whatever. I don't know why this keeps skipping down there. Um, one girl didn't like that the snout went like comically too big because I just drew it ridiculously large because I think French bulldogs are hilarious. <laughs> but she didn't want, she thought the snout was too big, which is totally fine. I just told her to paint white right over top of that part, wait for it to dry and repaint around it. So we can apply that to this too. Like if you painted his ear too, like out of the, maybe too big, or um, you painted out of the lines, you don't like it. You can literally go in with white paint and just white it out in a sense. But it's important to let it dry before you go back in over top of it because working wet on wet is hard to cover stuff up. Okay, you can fill in those little ears. Like, see, if you don't like, like, see, I just went out of the lines a little bit. Oops. And if that drives you crazy, because it can totally drive people crazy, just bite it out. Me, I don't care. I paint on the lines all the time. So my paintings are always messy, and that's cool. If you feel like your paint isn't pulling across the canvas nicely, it just means you don't have enough water on your brush. Just dip your brush in water and it'll pull through a little bit better. I 
Okay, I'm gonna color in these squares. I'm assuming that you guys are okay. You saw how to draw them. Okay. We're gonna leave him a little bit to dry. Hello, how are you today? Hi, Amber. I'm good. I can't wait till you can come paint with us live one day. Amber wants to come to the studio so we can do a dual paint night, guys. And I think that would be fun. One day when the world's normal again. <laughs> How are the giraffes, guys? Are we happy? Do they look like giraffes? What's your Insta? What's Amber's Insta? Um, Amber and Breezy, am I right? If you can write it down. Yay for Thursdays. Hey, Tender Bear. Cheers, right? I can't complain about a good old Thursday. Uh, BBG, Amber said her username down there. My face was too short, so I made it longer. No mistakes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, exactly, guys. If you feel like you want to make a longer snout, go for it. You just add more yellow down there. Or you can make other stuff smaller so it appears on you. You can make him skinnier and his neck with white. Woo! Thanks for the props, Tenor. I love it. Okay. We are gonna get orange out. And for natural painting people, you can get brown or... I'm thinking burnt sienna is probably the rest. Um, is gonna be the closest to that natural color ever. <laughs> I'm not an artist, so don't be disappointed. <laughs> that's the best part, paint night with people who don't always paint, that's the best. Um, this is burnt sienna for you guys at home. I think that's like probably pretty close to uh, the giraffe down there. If you want them to be like natural colored, but I'm not about that life. Okay. We are going to get our orange out. I'm still using the same brush. We're still using like a nice consistency of wet to paint ratio. Just getting all my bristles filled with paint, okay? And we are gonna just draw a little bubble on top of that little nubbin. Woo. Sound effects necessary. All right. And again, remember, your brush isn't dry, but it's not that chocolate milky that we started with. You got a little bit more substance to it. And let's see if I can do it this way. Might not, it might be awkward. You are going to, with your brush, very lightly just brush down. Oh my gosh, can I do it? To get this, do you see this effect on this side? <laughs> I can't paint with my hand like this, but. We're gonna pull down little lines of orange. <laughs> Let me build from afar. There we go. So he kind of blends into that yellow forehead. Does that kind of look normal? Does that make sense? And you can also add a little bit of your brown or orange or whatever you're using in that top little head space and bring it down to almost go over your little snout eggplant we started with. Oops. Does that make sense too or was that weird? So yesterday we did Wash Me Paint Wednesdays. You guys have seen a lot of me this week. Mon Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, but it was so much fun to just like hang out as I painted something. Um, I can't afford to do that every Wednesday, but I'll sneak one in every once in a while. I'll show you guys the Joe Exotic. <laughs> He's not done yet. He's really close. He stared at me all night when I was working. But it's fun. We got to like random topics. We talked about like... <laughs> 
what was it, Lily? Ugly babies, but cute, but ugly at the same time. Like Benjamin Button babies. <laughs> okay. You can even, if you want, thicken out the bottom of the lines for his little antlers. And Carol Baskin. We did talk about Carol Baskin. See, I'm still using this brown or the orange or whatever, the darker color we want to use at the moment. And we're going to start coloring some shapes, like some little, whatchamacallit, it? zebra spots. Not zebra. He is a giraffe. But first, with our darker colors, let's go inside his ear, and you basically just draw a line through the middle of it. Same on this side, just a line through the middle. Sorry for just jumping around a little today. I didn't think about the giraffe a lot before we started. Okay. With our brown or our orange, we're still going over top his eyeball. And you're just going to make a line. Yes, okay, I'm going to slow down. After this part, I will 110% slow down. But you're almost painting eyeliner on that draft. You see where I did that orange line? You follow the shape of the circle and flare it out the top. Sorry, boys. This will be a little foreign for you, but girls with eyeliner. <laughs> follow the shape of the circle and flare it out the top. And then I'll for sure slow down. Also, hi, Valerie. <laughs> Should we see if we got some? Do you guys want to send in some of yours to see where we're all at? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we got Cassie sent hers in. Oh, sorry, I just named you. I'm going to show everyone yours, but it's great. Check that out. Bang on. That's who had to lengthen the snout a little bit, and it looks great. I don't know if I got many other scent in yet. Let's see. Oh, we just saw a little kitty that's ready to paint a giraffe. Let's see another one. Look at that beauty. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the red. Great shape, great shape. Good job, guys. See, look. We're all feeling good. Let's see who's at. Oh, beautiful Stacy. Look at them coming in. There's Adam and Stacy. Beautiful. We've got. Look at that. Feeling okay. I like it. Trusting the process, everybody. I like it. Oh, did I just get another one? Yeah, I did. Oh, so cute. Into it already. Okay, perfect, guys. Nailing it. Amazing. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Okay, should I still take a breather? How are we thinking? Okay, this will be one, that, what we're gonna do next is gonna be easy to catch up on if, uh, if you need extra help, I mean, if you need extra time, okay? So I'm still going in with the orange or the brown or whatever you were just using, okay? And you're gonna start drawing in spots on the neck of the giraffe. So the trick or whatever you wanna say about this would be you place one, they're pretty square most of the time, but whatever, you can place a square. You want a little bit of water in your brush so you can pull it around. Um, and then you kind of play keep away. <laughs> That's the best way for me to describe it. Is you paint another shape. It can be a little bit different, a little bit bigger. But you keep away about, what is that? A quarter of an inch away from the other shape that you drew. Right? So we drew a nice square, another one. 
And then you acknowledge where all the other shapes are and you can draw another shape down here. Maybe this one has a little bit of a circle on it. It's supposed to be a little random, right? So then when you draw the next one, you stay the same about half inch away. It's so funny, this music is so much more appropriate today. When we were painting Joe Exotic, it was just like this like sultry guitar in the background. And this doesn't. Why not just for fun, let's just throw a little one in there. Oh, that one's a little circle. Mm, let's see, let's put another little one right there. But again, you're just kind of, like I said, playing keep away from all the other ones. You kind of want it to be a little irregular because that, we've had that conversation in other paint nights before. If you put them exactly the same shape and exactly the same size um, and sh space away from each other, then it'll look manufactured and not realistic and natural. Like nature intended it to, okay? So like, let's do a, just a little weird one down there. Me. Don't worry, this isn't the end of this. We are gonna bring in some lighter colors into these little cracks. That's all about the layering, honey. Why not neat a little one right there? That's fun. <laughs> How are the shapes going, everybody? Also, while I have you guys here, next week, I've decided it's going to be plant week. So we're going to do cactus on Tuesday. A couple cactuses. Jessica and Jordan, I'm sorry, we might do the same one we've already done. Um, but that's all I could find in the back there. And then Thursday, someone was suggesting maybe like a sunflower or like something, a flower of some sort. I'm not the greatest at flowers. Yeah, sunflower seed. I'm not the greatest at flowers, but we'll see. We'll try our best. <laughs> I know that's all I could think of, Jessica. I was like, Jessica and Jordan have already done it. <laughs> but I've had a lot of requests for cactuses, and cactuses are fun and super easy. Oh, right, the T-Rex. We still want to do the T-Rex. Yeah, I get, right. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I got to write. I have to write this stuff down. And I'm just going to do one down there, too. This one's gonna be big. <laughs> Lily keeps bringing up the same thing. <laughs> that kills me. <laughs> Just a good old paint and a Satan. That's basically a portrait though, and that's what stresses me out. <laughs> Lily, you are a portrait artist as well. <laughs> so you know how to do them. Shrek? Hey, actually, Shrek is like basically Baby Yoda, but more round. We could probably do a Shrek. It's like Baby Yoda plus the giraffe horns, basically. People are down for Shrek. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. We're gonna start getting weird, everybody. It's getting into blendy layering time, so it gets a little stressful for people, so what do we do? Remember, what do we say? We trust the process, okay? We're gonna take some white out. Unless you guys want me to chill a little bit. Are you guys still doing some circles and um, what you might call them? Spots. We're not doing the face spots yet. Let's see, we have, oh, we got a couple more pictures sent in. Have, let's see, do I have any in here too? Oh my gosh, I love that. Yours looks so cute too, Rachel. Okay, I didn't see, I didn't see a couple. Hold up please, chill for four seconds. Okay, good, good timing. I'll just, uh, 
Oh, I just got paint all over my mouse. I missed a couple for you guys, so I will show those now. Ooh, we've got a beautiful colored one. Wow. Oh, and then the next is a disappearing message, so I can't see it, but that's beautiful. Oh, we got a blue one. My cousin always does blue ones. I mean, colorful ones into it, runs in the fam. Beautiful, you guys. Everyone doing great as usual. Check that beauty out. See, guys, this is going to be that, like, bump on their head. We're going to add some more white in there, but, like, perfect. So they're all coming together so perfect. Are you ooing over the colorful one, Amber? Same. Yeah, same. Everyone is doing great. Thanks for the props, Justo. Okay, I'll chill for a second. What else is up, everybody? We're doing plants. Everyone's down for the plants. What other paint night things can we do? Can we do another landscape? Of course we can. I'm not very good at landscapes, but we 100% can. Oh, or ocean stuff. Yeah, that's a good one too. Right, because Melissa and Alyssa, Melissa and Alyssa, Michelle and Alyssa were saying, um, do my puffer fish, that's a good one. I love the puffer fish. Octopus. Can I consider teaching an advanced portrait night? Oh, that stresses me out, but I'm not gonna say no this second. I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about that one. That's tough. Cause I won't lie to you. I don't even know how I learned how to do portraits. Just like one day it just like clicked for me. <laughs> Not to like, that doesn't help at all, but um, I'd have to think about that one. It's like advanced shapes, basically. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do just like a two hour class. It wouldn't be, it would have to be like a consistent thing. Yeah, I have to think about that one. <laughs> Perfect time for Satan. <laughs> no, hey, I'm. it's a great suggestion. I just have to like, again, remember guys, I'm not a teacher. I'm just whipping this out of my butt. <laughs> yeah tanya i agree um first of all thanks for the donut i forgot to say thanks um the underwater stuff would be good for us to do i'm your teacher i know i'm i am teacher tay you guys it's a weird world just watch me be teaching you guys terrible techniques and real artists not real artists i am a real artist but Real trained painters are like, what? <laughs> That's not how you do it. <laughs> okay, so what did I say? We are bringing white out. And you are going to take your original color, whether you are yellow like me, or you are using your light brown, or your tan, or whatever color, right? And we are going to add some white in there. And it's like a good old, whatever, same old medium-sized brush. But I'm going to go into yellow. And you're just adding a touch of white in there. You're not adding too much white. You don't want it to be too different than what we've got going on on there at the moment. Who's got to be the one to tell you? You? <laughs> okay. So, um... You're a professional painter. Oh, <laughs> I know, but I meant like trained. Like I didn't really get trained in painting. I just like painted. <laughs> so I don't really know all of the exact things, but so if you see here, my white yellow is uh, just a touch of white in there. Perfect. Um, thanks for the crown, Justin. <laughs> my professional painter crown. Um, okay. So we are going to start with this lighter yellow or lighter tan or whatever. Remember that it's going to dry a bit darker on your palette than it is, I mean, on your canvas than it looks on your palette. So just keep that in mind. Um, and we're going to start by doing something weird. So we have this circle that we drew for his good old eggplant snout. And now we're going to start at this eyeball crease or whatever, just right here on his inside eye. And you're going to bow in. Weep, right into that line. Like, see 
We drew the circle and we bowed into it. Is that weird? Same over here. You started as a little crease of his eye and you bow in to that circle that we originally drew. You're still using a nice mixture of water and paint. Okay, okay. So it's not too watery. You still want the paint to show up on the canvas. And you are gonna bring that line and you're just gonna follow up that nice eyeliner line we drew earlier, okay? With some white. You can brush it on lightly and little wispies if you want. We're going in with that light tan or light yellow and you're going through from the tips of his ears out into the inside. Sorry, tips of his ears in probably helps make more sense. Tips of his ears, brushing in. Again, if you squint at the picture of our giraffe, not the painting we're doing, but the picture that we're looking at, you can see on his face where the lighter parts are. And that's where we are going in right now. You're also going to almost completely fill in that little bottom jut out we did of his nice jaw. It's okay if some yellow from underneath is poking out. That's cool. Now we're gonna go in with this same, we're still using that same lighter color. Some of you might wanna do this with a small brush, that's totally okay. But you're just gonna roughly go through these lines with your paintbrush. You're gonna add a little bit of more water to your brush, but see how I'm just roughly, like you kinda of want some of the yellow or the tan or the brown to pop through. We're just roughly going through some of these lines. You can use this opportunity to clean up some of these lines if you want. I mean, shapes, if you feel like they went. Again, if you don't like that they went out of the lines or maybe they're a little too rough for you, you can use this opportunity to clean that up. Just cover the mistakes, right? Because there's no such thing as mistakes. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm just going so quick time today. So sorry if I'm stressing you out, I don't mean to. Yeah, anybody feeling weird about anything? Stuck on something? Don't like what something looks like? I don't think I've got too many DMs here yet. Too many new ones. Or are we all just so confident on our giraffes right now? Add more wine? Okay, I'm almost out, that's fair. Let's get that out of here though. More wine! <laughs> also, hello, Jay Bain. Feel free, guys. If you guys need to go take a break, if you need a wine touch up or a pee break or a snack filler, feel free. I'll give you a two minute timeout. <laughs> I have to go to work after this, guys, so who knows? I probably shouldn't have more wine. <laughs> Wine! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I love that. Okay, just kidding. I told you guys we'd take a break. I'll chill for a little bit. 
We are going to add a couple of more of these little lighter highlights. Oh, I forgot to paint our hair on. We'll do that next too. Again, it's so tough because everybody's colors are different. Like your yellow might be so bright that you can't see it against the white. Or maybe your orange is super, super dark so the contrast is nice. But I will help you guys out a little bit. Like we can bring some red into this guy if we need to bump him up a little bit more. Um, you let me know. We want to be able to work with whatever you got. So if you're using anything like I saw someone was commenting on one of my on my post about it saying you can do crayons or chalk or whatever and that's 100% true. So for you guys to get darker colors like sometimes you do more layers on top of your like if you colored this with a orange pencil crayon you could do another layer of orange or a little layer of brown on top of that orange. It's all about layering tedious layering more when it comes to like watercolor and pencil crayons and such. Acrylic you can just like slob on some paint on top and that's nice and if you want your paint to be a little less opaque a little more opaque, opaque um if you want it to be a little more translucent you just add a little bit more water in there am i right am i right feel free to change out your water if your water's dirty if you think your colors aren't super bright if they seem muddy your water might be to blame because that's directly mixing in with the colors as well. Okay, everyone, how are we doing? Oh my gosh, Valerie, beautiful. Look at this one, you guys. I love that you're doing those different backgrounds. Perfect, super cute. What am I doing? Taking that out of there. Okay. Am I a jerk to start again? Am I just the most impatient human? It's funny. My brother-in-law is doing uh, some of these with his... He's a dance teacher, but they can't only just dance over Zoom all the time. So they're doing some paint nights. But they only have an hour. Just one hour. And all mine go to like two. So they try to like fast forward through them. And I'm like, should I? It's hard to do one in an hour. I'm like, it's already almost been an hour. This one's pretty close to being done. Just a boot. We're more than halfway for sure. No chill. I ain't got no chill. No girl, no. Okay. What are we on to next? Sorry, I always touch. <laughs> Someone pointed out that I always touch my brushes, and I just, that's how I know which brush I want to use. It's like, and no, it's not crispy enough. <laughs> and then if I can feel it, I know if it's dry enough. Just get your hands in there. That's what painting's all about. <laughs> People who work at our stores are like, you're getting oil all over them. Suck it. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. So what step did we just do, you guys? We just did like the lighter layer. Am I right? Am I right? So now it's gonna feel weird and annoying and redundant, but we're gonna go back into that same little pile of the color we just made with white and we're gonna add more white to it, okay? It's gonna be almost white. Not quite white, but almost white, okay? Like it's probably gonna look like white to you, but there's a tinge of yellow in there, I promise. I'm using that small brush. I'm using a little bit of water on my brush. And the first thing we're gonna do, we'll see if, uh, we'll see if you can see it from here. So we drew that line in the middle of the ear, right? So now with this lighter color, remember it's a little bit more white, you are just gonna pull little sweeps of hair over top that line that we drew, okay? Do you see that? Little wispies? You can even cap it off right here if you want to. This is a good time if you don't like the shape of your ear, like if you want it to be more like square, you can shape it off that way more if you want. I like his ears a little pointy personally. 
Make those little wispies. Yeah. This sounds like Christmas music. Um the little line that we made, we're gonna do one more. I know redundant, I, I know it feels redundant, but whoop, another little white line, just a little bit skinnier than the first indent we did. I promise it'll all come together, okay. Same on this side. And we're gonna go, right? So you see how we have our little eyeliner line? We are gonna draw just a little white spot right underneath it. Whoop. We've got the eyeliner line and there's a little space above the circle. We're just gonna do a little line. They have such beautiful eyes. That's the one thing that I wanted to like make sure we all, we all can nail is some cute little giraffe eyeballs. Okay. With this same little brush that we're using, with a nice mixture, you want a little bit more water in your paint than usual. Not chocolate milky, but just a little bit more watery. And we're just gonna do a couple little spots, okay? Again, they can be random, they can be messy. If you want, we could probably even splatter them on if you wanted to. That would be a little bit of a more crazy giraffe. But do you see where I'm putting these little spots? Just right over top where their eyeballs go. See how they're not even really that circular? <laughs> That's okay. Just dabbing on a couple little giraffey spots. And remember, for some of you who haven't been here before, <laughs> I'll try to show you the best way to outline things. Or not outline things, but to make things small. We can use it with this little llama with the um, sombrero that I taught somebody, the llama painting. So pressure is very important when you use paint brushes, okay? It's really awkward for me to do it um, from this side. It was easier for me to do it when I painted the other way. but. Now you see if I hold my paintbrush very lightly on the canvas and I'm only using the tip of the brush, the line is very skinny. Do you see that? Oops, let's come over here. Super skinny. But if I press all the way down so the whole paintbrush is on the canvas and you pull across, you're using every single bristle and look how thick that line is compared to the top one, but they're both with the same paintbrush. And it's all about pressure. Yeah, everyone loves the pressure lesson. And I know I have to teach it almost every time, but it's so important if you're new and you don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the prompts. <laughs> but so when you're doing these cutie little circles, or whatever you call them, um, you don't want to push too hard on your paintbrush. Super, super light. But we're layering on dots like this, so it's going to look nice and complete at the end. Okay, you can add a couple on his nostril snout if you want to. I just like doing this, so I'm just probably doing more than I should, but it's fun for me. <laughs> okay.
we are going to come down to that cutie's little nose. We're going to make some nostrils. I'm still using the, the white, white, white version of our base color. Now you're going to start at the very side of your circle nose. And you're just going to do a U, an upside down U. Bring it close. But remember, he's looking a little bit to the side, so it's not going to be centered in the middle. This one on the side is going to be farther out farther to the left, and the other one's gonna be closer to the middle. Like I said, if some of you guys wanna get crazy, you can splatter on those dots, that'd be fun. Let's do that other you. this light white you can go back over if you want to add some more depth to your giraffe you can go over those lines that we did again but always make sure you're conscious of leaving space behind so that you can see every layer of color that you've been putting on there so you can see that where's my finger right here is the darkest yellow that we have and then right over here we have the yellow that has a little touch of white and now right here we have the lots of white and yellow just adds depth guys you don't have to do that if you don't want to What time is it? 10 for 9. Okay, coo, coo, coo. Okay. How we doing? Mm, we have too much water in there. So I'm still using that same old white color. Yellow with lots of white, tan with lots of white, whatever. I just brought a bigger brush out, okay? I'm still using the same colors, but just a bigger brush. And we're gonna do one swipe down his nose. You wanna go over that weird little shape that we drew. It's okay if there's some, if your paint's a little watered down so you can see through it. But we're basically just gonna start drawing on some spotties. And we're gonna go over that shape. We're gonna go over some, we're gonna paint on his little hairs and then black for his eyeballs. And then other than the background, he's done. How are we feeling? Do you guys wanna see where everyone's at? Do you want to, oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you guys what I just saw in my feed here. Look at that, rainbow coloring. Okay, so you're gonna have fun with his face to do all the different colors on there. Oh my gosh, that's we should have done that. <laughs> you guys, if you want, copy her, she's cool. <laughs> that's a great idea. Beautiful. Oh, you guys, look at these drops. Wow, we've got a pink one, I'm obsessed. I love it. Beautiful, you guys. Oh, love. Okay, what was that? Wow. That's awesome. I keep like saying your guys' names. Sorry if you want to be anonymous, but damn, these drafts are good. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh, you got the blue background down. Perfect. Okay guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that ruby one, who we got there, cool. Oh, those are just such pretty colors. Guys, they're all looking super great. Are we happy? Should I bring it close, see if we need any other? Like see how like irregular these colors and stuff are down there? I think that looks cool. <laughs> it could look messy to some. 
Okay. So, if some of your oh, let's see. Okay, somebody is asking me. They think that theirs is too dark because they use the dark brown throughout the whole face. That's okay if you want your giraffe to be brown. That's totally fine. But if you don't like that color, it's just adding white to it. I would just do another full layer of white to the brown. They requested that I didn't show you. Um, and just go over these shapes and in between the middle. You can leave these the dark brown. But that would just mean you just need another couple layers of a lighter brown on top to hide that. Not to hide it, but if you're not happy with the color, that would be my suggestion. Okay, doke. So, if we, if you're using orange and you feel like your orange is too light and you want to add a little bit more whatever depth and dimension to them, we can add a touch of red in there, okay? If you are using brown and it's the darkest brown you had, it doesn't go any darker to fill in some of these spots, you can put in a touch of black if you want. Again, this is only if you feel like your shapes aren't differentiating from themselves enough. So you can add a touch of red into your orange. Or again, use a darker brown, whatever. And so see, like you can put a little bit of touch of color at the top there if you want it to be a little bit darker. Some people are just saying they don't feel like there's enough contrast in there. Same here, even if you're a normal color giraffe, you could even do this in just black if you want. You think your colors are too bright, so you have a different problem. Okay, so again, that's the same, the same solution to fix dark colors would be this, it would be the same to fix white colors. Um, or bright colors. If you add a touch of white into the color that you've used, I just punched my glasses, um, that will bump down the saturation of them. It'll like pastel them out a little bit more. And that would just mean you just add a couple more layers on top. And then you'll have those bright, fun colors popping through the more subdued ones. So then your painting won't be completely like flat. And like, not flat, that's not the right word. Like it won't, so it won't feel washed out if you start with bright colors and then put lighter ones on top. Does that make sense? Or did I just ramble and lose track of what I was saying? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start putting in some spots on this giraffe's face, okay? It might be stressful for some people. My best suggestion would be to use a more watered down paint. We don't wanna use thick, thick, thick paint because it'll just look like a full circle painted right on top. But if you use a nice watered down, the almost the chocolate milk consistency, probably a little bit thicker, um, the paint will go on translucent and it'll show the shape underneath. So it'll like not feel so flat and pasted. Does that make sense? And again, the face ones are a little bit even more irregular than the, um, than the ones that we did down below. They're a little bit smaller. They're a little bit crazier. There's no rhyme or reason to them. I'm literally just doing exactly what I did before. They're just a bit smaller. And guess what? If you don't like where you put one or if you made one too big, you can just put that yellow with white in it over top. Okay, so this is very dependent on what you're doing. So I am using just the orange with a touch of red in it to make it a little bit darker. If you felt like your orange isn't dark enough, you can use just orange, you can use just brown, you can add a touch of black in your brown, a touch, I mean a touch. Black will overpower anything. Um, but I just added a touch of red so that you can see the difference of it. Uh, some people were saying that they were not happy with how, a, I think washed out probably is the right word. Um, if you feel like you need to bump up some contrast a little bit more, you can add a touch of red in there. You can even add a touch of red to your brown instead of black if you want. Is that annoying, guys? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if I just led you astray. Okay, there's no spots on his nostril spot part. I'm gonna do some little oddballs. Let 
again, really no rhyme or reason. I'll bring this closer to you. But this is where reference comes in. Like if you're looking at like, I don't know where the heck to put these spots. <laughs> Go look either at the one that we gave below. It's a little small on here, but Google a giraffe. And if you just look at where their spots are, you can mock them exactly. But we're also bringing these darker spots up top. And again, use kind of a watered down paint because you want to be able to see the shapes underneath. And some people have paint markers. You could literally dab them on here if you want. Like bingo jab them. <laughs> That's always fun. If your bump isn't well defined, add a little nice line in there. Did I send you guys astray with the red because I didn't tell you to have red? <laughs> Please let me know. The dots don't go all the way up his little antlers or whatever you want to call them. Just a little bit at the bottom. See, my dots are crazy, you guys. They're not even full spots. And of course, he's got some nostril ones and his nostril ones are a little big. But we are going right over that line that we drew. I'm gonna give you guys some time with the dots, don't worry. Remember, the watered down paint is important. It's gonna dry a little bit lighter, which is confusing because I always tell you paint's gonna dry darker, but if it's really watered down, it's gonna dry a bit lighter. But have fun with it. Just slob on some spots on your little giraffe. far away today it's hard to see maybe just there's lots of weird little details so I kind of left these spaces a little bit spot free it's okay if you didn't but um, I just left some space in there All right, I see someone else mentioning in my DMs there, they are not happy that they're, these are very sharp, like very square. And that's okay if you want, like they can be square and they can be sharp. If you wanted to roughen up the edges, don't worry guys, this is just me helping out uh, people who might have the same issue. Keep spotting away, okay? You can take the color of your spot or you can take a layer darker even, and you can just kind of spec it out. Like roughly, again, a little bit of water on your brush will help you move the paint around. But if you want to get into full detail, like see, you can make it. I just used a darker brown on there by accident, but let's just uh, fill that in then. But you can go in with a brush and rough it up the edges. Feel free if that's what you want to do. Some people might like that they're very sim that they're nice and symmetrical shaped or really rough shape smooth edges is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Whoa. Um, if you want your smooth edges, keep them smooth. If you want to make them rough, I would just take a small brush and just literally do that. Make them rough. Roughly go around the edges and pull out some paint. 
fill it in if you feel like your colors are too rich because I just put the wrong color on top of those spots. And again, you guys, some of you know, most, if you've been here before, you know, I don't care about it being smooth and clean to the edges, so I let it rough like that, but feel free, paint it smooth to the edge. I'm taking your silence as positive <laughs> feedback that you're just spotting away. like super fuzzy but now that I start on one I gotta do it to all of them but just looking at the picture of the draft at the bottom this is what the edges of their little spots look like they're not sharp edged so if you want to be close to detailed I mean as close to realistic as possible then I would suggest rough and toughening up those edges Oh, that's red. Oh, mess. <laughs> All right. Look at those puffy little spots. So remember if, it's always different for everyone. So see how you can still see the line of our initial eggplant in that little circle. Some of you might have that same problem. And it's as easy as going in with that same orange with maybe a touch of white in it. Oh, that's not orange, that's yellow. Empty. I just ordered more yellow because I have almost none left. But again, that's just back on layering. So you would go back in with your yellow, maybe add a touch of white in there. And you just go over those spots to just make them go away, right? There you go. As good as new. You guys can even do that even if you can't see the lines underneath. If you want to reshape this circle, like maybe you want to bring it out a little bit because it's not perfect circle of the giraffe. If you want to bring it out a little bit, you just mix a little bit of that color and do it. Okay? How's that, everybody? Are we ready to go in with some black and just finish off this beauty? Other than the background, I haven't forgotten. No worries if you're still spotting. I'm just gonna get some black out to be ready. <sighs> and remember, you don't need much black on your palette. You need the time, like that's probably too much. <laughs> As usual, I always take out too much. But black, a little bit of black goes a long way, okay? Should we add the darkest color to the net? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. Um, we're not ready for black yet. <laughs> She's right. Add your darkest color <laughs> to there. <laughs> So if you are a brown per, like here I am saying if you're a brown person again, if you are painting a brown draft, my apologies. Um, take out your brown. You can add a touch of orange in there if you wanna make it blend in a little bit. And you can take a thin brush, you can take a thick brush because you know pressure sensitivity now, sensitivity now. So you can use a big brush to do thin lines. Am I right? Tony wants eyes. Okay, we're just gonna do this fluffer hair and then 
we will go to the eyes. And it's easiest to start at the hairline <laughs> of the giraffe. And his hair's angled a little bit downwards. When you make your lines, always point them a little bit down. Oops. And go out, out, and out. I'm not using loads of water on my brush, okay? Hello, sweaty smack. Sweaty smack to you. Nice username. Hello, we're just painting a giraffe. <laughs> and so see, you can have some of the colors of the, um, if you put paint down earlier, you'll see some of that color popping through. Do you remember Cosmic Trumpet? Is that because you, are you Cosmic Trumpet? I do remember, remember Cosmic Trumpet. Well, good to see you back then. I was gonna say welcome, but you've been here before. Okay, I'm gonna give you a one minute catch up to do your little fluffy hairs. I'll bring it closer. And then we're gonna do some eyeballs, okay? Look at that fluffy hair. You can see the brush strokes in there and that is because there was not loads of water on my brush. That's the dry brush technique. Okay. Your cow got hacked. What a travesty. That's my worst nightmare. My Instagram got hacked. I don't know where my career would go. <laughs> okay, everybody. My couple minutes was 40 seconds. Sorry, we'll wait. I'm getting a little brush. For everyone who's ready, get a little brush. Okay. Sorry, I'm just missing patient today, everybody. So you want a nice chunk of paint on, I mean water on your brush. <laughs> um, sorry, my sister just sent us a text message. Um, you are going to fill every bristle with that, oh, not watered down, but a nice amount of water on your paintbrush. And let's see, what would be the best, easiest way to teach you guys this? Probably a circle. Okay, let's just fill in that circle. The original circle that we drew, so whoever, I can't remember who exactly it was at the start who said that they colored in their eyes yellow, that's totally cool because your black should be able to go right over top of it right now at this stage. Since it's nice and dry. You can use your paintbrush to align to see if they are in the right spot. So we're listening to like a bedtime song. <laughs> Just a lullaby putting me to bed. Look at that. And there's also just two little slits inside of his nose, too. Uh, Yandy saying you can never paint, I beg to differ. I better see you back here next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, and I'll teach you how to paint a cat. You can only trace stuff. Hey, that's where it starts. That's fine. Some people can't even trace stuff. Sounds crazy, but their brains just don't work that way visually. But I bet there's a bunch there's a bunch of people out there watching right now that would have said the same thing as you not very long ago and look at them painting up a storm. Okay. So, remember, we have all these different lines, right? We had the dark line, we have a little white line underneath. We are just going to trace the top of the eyeball and we're just going to bring out 
We're just gonna bring a line down. Basically looks like the number six, right? But top lace. Cause her eyelashes are so cute. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, guys. Just a good old trace the eyeball and bring a line down. I remember I haven't talked about it in a couple streams, but if you are uncomfortable with painting little thin lines with a paintbrush, do it with a Sharpie. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> or buy paint pens. That's also a good secret. I feel like I made my giraffe's ears too small when I look at this picture, but eh, whatever. Okay, realistically, this is basically complete. Am I wrong? I'm realizing, because some of you are asking about this line as well. Like, if you want to do, you can do a black line right here to bring their mouth in. You can do a brown line. You can do a red line. You don't have to do a line at all if you feel like it's fine. Do you put an outline on painting? See, I do. I love a good outline. Um, but I would always stress people out when I do outlines, so I try not to. Just some people were asking that their face blends in, and if that's the case, like, here, let's do... Let's pretend I didn't do that line. You can do it in red. You can do it in brown. Let's just kind of wipe it away a little bit. Let's do it in red or something, even. Right, it doesn't, well, it's kind of going to be black anyway, because I'm just, my paintbrush is messy, but you can do it in red. Oh, it looks like black to you guys. That line was red. You can outline their eyeballs, right? Their funny little forehead lines. But the painting doesn't need an outline either. That's just it. What about the T part on the snout? What T part? Are we talking about like this part on his snout or like his little like noses? On mine, the area below the nostrils seems too flat. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, if the area above low the nose looks too flat, the best thing for us to do would be to go in with your base color and we're going to add some white in there. Okay. So whatever color you have on here, we're going to add a little bit of white into that. I can see that happening. That makes sense. See, guys, I'm glad you asked questions. Look at that. More people are having the same problem. So we added a little bit of white to our main color. Oh, gosh, I just added a bunch of orange instead. Just making a mess on my palette here. Oh. You add a little bit of white and we're going to go along the base part. So he almost like he has a lip. It looks like he's smiling at the moment. Okay. Imagine me trying to follow along. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of people. There's over 50 people following along right now. And then I guess you're right, like a T, like let's bring a T down on his nose. Hello, Diana. You know what's funny? I didn't realize that you were Lil Deesky. I didn't put it together until I sent you something <laughs> and noticed what your last name was. <laughs> Does that help a little bit if we do like a, a T down the middle? Does that help the line? And that's by doing a white. That's by doing a lighter color. Good, I'm glad you made it. I mean, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad that you likes it, that you like your print. He looks realistic, thanks. I just kinda, now that I did that black line, I'm kinda, let me try to hide it again with the red. See, like now that I made that line, I feel like now I kinda have to make an outline around everything else, but.
Hello, God's Girl and BTA. Uh, BTA Jones? BTA Dow Jones. <laughs> Butchering username since 2019. <laughs> okay. And again, this is not something that everyone has to do, but just because I made that line, now I feel like I have to outline a couple other spots where it looks weird. So I'm just gonna put another red line there. Oh yeah, white accents are coming. No, don't worry, you can rush me as, if you want. We're gonna just put two white spots in those eyeballs. Honestly, that's about, that's about it. Um, and then we can put here, let's do that. By the way, BMG Kelly loves her Johnny Hockey print. Oh, BBG, that's who it is. See, it's cool to put usernames to faces. No problem, Tanya. You're done? Good, you guys are quick. We're gonna paint a background on here too, if you guys want. But I'm just outlining it because that's my outline insecurity. I just feel like I have to. Thanks for the ice cream, Tanya. You're the best. Okay, let's get those white highlights in there for you guys so we're ready to go. I want ice cream now. <laughs> hey, same. <laughs> Getting teased with ice cream cones. Okay, you guys, just need to put him in the frame and then he can go with my Anchorman DJ Ski. Yes! You have that one too? I love that. Scotchy scotch, scotch, scotch is what I call that one. <laughs> Okay, for you white highlighters, you guys are all so ready to go. I love it. We're using just a little thin paintbrush, right? Of course. And we're using pretty thick paint. Um, we're not using much water on it. Let's do one little white spot in that cutie's eyeball. Look at that. Would you look at that? Hey, that's pretty cute. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Couldn't tune in tonight, gonna do it with your fam. Hey, that's cool. That's what the YouTube videos are all about, am I right? Would you just look at it? Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> Me and dad literally say that all day, every day. <laughs> Would you look at us? Um, so cute, I know, right? I love him too. You white highlighters, you can literally put little, like I just put two little white lines in his ear a little bit. You can go back on top of some of those white lines. You can put a little highlight over top that little snout. Maybe do a little white line on the tip of his snout. Will that help? Just look at it. Just look at it. If you want, you can even do white highlights in its hair. Like a couple little ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's get some highlights in there. Ah, ballot. Blot? Ballot? Oh, bullet. Two O's. How do you pronounce that? I suck it at all. Thank you for the props. I appreciate it. I appreciate them all, you guys. If you guys want to get even more realistic, you can do just a little white line underneath the black. Another ice cream cone and a star, Valerie. You guys are just spoiling me today. There you go. If you guys don't want to paint a background, she done, I think. If you do want to paint a background, let's just toss some color on there. What do you think? Let's do like a blue sky or something. And remember when I said, don't take out too much black? Look at, look how much black I have left over. Can you see that? I told you guys not to do it and I did it myself. You're making me hungry with that ice cream and the popcorn. Oh, you guys are just spoiling me every day. There's another plastic piece. Okay, I'm just gonna toss some blue on there as a background. Just in case people watching on YouTube or people here today, you're probably like, what the heck? Why isn't there a background already? Most people paint their backgrounds first. Like we saw Valerie, she had her background on first and that's awesome. 
And again, just to reiterate why I don't do that is because everybody's quality of paint is so different. And some people's quality of paint can't handle being painting a brighter color on top of a very dark color. Um, so I just don't want to set you guys up for failure before you even begin because I don't know what type of paint you have at home. Ooh, I should probably change my water, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, so I like to leave a little bit of space, like a brushed outline almost. So I kind of go a close, close but not exactly to his little face. You see, right? Like it's pretty, it's not all the way to the edge. And then I pull it roughly away. If you want to make it like multi-dimensional or like what do you call, um, like tie-dye, you would put your paintbrush in white and kind of bring some, you guys can't even see that, um, in white or in any other color and you can kind of mash, that's black, I would have just got black all over my white paint. But again, a wet brush helps with this. There, you can mix in some other colors and literally just slob the paint around, okay guys? It's not important to be clean and precise. It's kind of cool to have like a messy looking background. And you just go between your blue and your white pile with your paintbrush. And then I'll go through all your guys' drafts. It looks like you're slowly sending them in. see the white very well on the screen for you guys but it's there okay I just thought blue would be so cute to have just like a little sky behind this little draft And again, you can still be conscious of like which direction your brush strokes are going. Like I'm always brushing them out like kind of like a sunburst outside of our little kitty. funny how we were talking about me being a portrait artist or whatever before and teaching portraits. I never was a portrait girl. Like Lily can attest for that. Justin can attest for that. In art school, I was the monster girl. I talked about it in the last stream. So on my other YouTube, you guys can kind of hear more about that story. My last YouTube video. But um, I used to just draw cartoons all the time. I never drew realistic. I drew monsters. Hilarious little monsters that made me laugh. And then one day I just painted a portrait and then I literally became the portrait girl like a week later. <laughs> and here we are like six years after that. And I almost only paint portraits and that's hilarious. I have a monster giraffe, best taste. You do have a monster giraffe. Oh my God, Amanda, I can't believe I didn't even think that this is the perfect paint night for you. That is hilarious. You do have, that was the best being commissioned to do another monster. I haven't done them in so long. Oh my God, Amanda, you're the best. I truthfully almost forgot. It felt like so long ago, but it wasn't. Okay. Who's seen the new Trolls movie? Not I. But I have been told, is there like a, is it the Trolls movie that has like a little character with pink hair, like one of the, act, not the actresses, cause it's a cartoon, but one of the characters is a little girl with pink hair. Yeah. Ooh, your large paintbrush from Mona Lisa is so much fun. Look at that. I'm curious which one they gave you. Did they give you like, 
One of these two? Look at these big guys. They're my favorite. <laughs> this one's like literally the size of my cheek. Okay. How's that? Do you guys have some cool funky backgrounds? Not quite, it's like an inch across. Are they square? Nice. Yeah, square's fun. I'm so glad that you're happy, like that their little kit they helped you out with is good. I emailed them the other day because I'm just running out of some supplies I need to order and uh, they said lots of people have been contacting them for Tay Tasty paint nights and I just, Love it. hundred percent worth it. You hear her first. You heard it here first. I'm probably just gonna let's do today in the caption. What did we talk about? We talked about the Joe Exotic video. We talked about the flamingo with the two. We talked about Mona Lisa. I'll tag all that stuff in the caption. Hello, Mr. Freddy. How are you doing? Okay. Oops, I don't really like that spot. Let's just add some more blue in there. Okay, I'm good, thank you. We're just finishing up our two hour paint night. This is a time you guys, you can splatter if you want, you can put glitter if you want. But I think, there you go. I think that's pretty good, hey? Should we see some giraffes? Oh my gosh, look at the fam. Look at these two. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to click that. Look at these two. You even got some grass in that one. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Freddy. We're painting. If you ever want to paint. Oh, look, you just saw you say hi. There you go. <laughs> what else we got? Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful blue giraffe. Or purple. Oh my gosh. You guys are nailing it. Oh, so cute. Yes, the nose worked. You did need something else on the nose for sure. And that worked. Look at that. Oh, you even got the blue. Okay, blue, good. See, my screen made it look purple. Um, uh, Look at that with the rainbow hair. Oh my gosh, Karen. Also, are you the Karen that ordered a print? Did you get it? <laughs> She's getting a bow. She, okay, good. I'm glad to see that. I'm excited to see the bow. Wow, look at that one. Ooh, nice like blended background. Magnifique. Let's go back to that. Yes, there she is. Oh, she looks blue on my computer screen. On my other computer, she looks purple. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. A pink one. I'm in love. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Rizza, good, nice to have you back, by the way. Um, I know you, was it the panda one that you missed in person? Okay, let me just get, I know there's a couple of you in my requests. Let me, so I don't show your names on there. Okay, let's see, where did you go? I have to refresh it. Oh my, ooh, I like your spots. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, where did that one go? I missed one of you. Wow, nice background. Oh my gosh, you guys, did we nail giraffes this time? I'm missing a T, there you are. Oh, I got you before the background, but beautiful at that stage. I like the yellow and the orange. I'm excited to see where this beauty came, turned out. Shay! Oh, again, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys, I just told your name. But, um, nailed it. You had all the colors. You were prepared, and he's beautiful. Oh, you guys. Uh, I love seeing bone flows, always. Oh, we got some more coming. 
Oh my lanta. That's a beautiful one too. Guys, I love that you are all going into exciting color changes. That, not colors, trying out your own colors. Like that gives me life. Oh, we're just finishing up a background on that beauty, but I love it. I, I'm pretty sure I know whose is whose just from that good old dry brush technique. Beautiful. I love this expression-y background with that nice big paintbrush you just got. Heck yeah. Alrighty, what else? Oh, we got another one. Oh, we had a pink and a green. Uh, okay, you guys have all nailed, like, they're all so beautiful. Hi, hippo. Oh yeah, right, you're hippo. I forgot your name. I forgot I forgot. Oh my gosh, everyone. <laughs> okay, of course, we can't forget Lily's contribution. Wow, that's good. Okay, now I feel like we have to go through Lily's, but then you'll see our whole conversation, so maybe not. <laughs> so that was Lily's French Bulldog, and then we've got the good old Pennywise giraffe. That's amazing. And then your mum went purple. Oh, mum. I love that your mum's painting with you. That's the best. Oh my gosh, a cutie! Uh, you're right! The cutiest cutie of them all! Oh my gosh. Okay, get them in quick, everyone. I'm gonna show a couple more if I can find a couple more. Who else we got? Another one here. Wow. I painted a Pennywise Hello Kitty. I should send it to you. Uh, please do. I'll show the class. Um, that's beautiful as well. Wow, I'm proud of all your giraffes. They all turned out so cute. This is my two minute warning to send in if you want to show yours. Wow, look at all these. Yeah, I knew I was missing one of you. Oh, that one has a top hat. Look at that pup as an addition. Well, that's a beautiful contribution. <laughs> oh. Look at the drip. The sideways drip, you put it to the down and you got it to drip this way. My proud levels have reached the roof. Oh my gosh, look at that Pennywise Hello Kitty that she was talking about. Stacy, he's beautiful. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I went to the, well, we can all look at Lauren's edition, beautiful, of yesterday's. Oh, so cute. Coming along ish. Okay, you gotta send your picture. I gotta see. Oh my gosh, honey, look at that crown. Oh, I can't see the other one because it's a disappearing message, but look at that crown. The graduating class is fire. I agree. It's lit, you guys. You're all lit. Who else do we got? Let's send another. I just got to refresh it a couple times. For some reason, it just doesn't like. Look at those two. Look at my little cuz just being so creative with the blue and the pink. Tonya, you're a painter. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love them. Oh, I like that one too. I like that you got some like different colors in these neck spots. I like that. They keep showing up on my phone, but not on the computer for some reason, so. Oh, wow! Oh, I love it. That one has glasses! Oh my gosh, super cute. Look at the whole group. Not a painter, just good at following directions. Hey, I think you're a painter. Everyone did kill it tonight. Oh, look at that little beauty! I love the colors that you chose. Oh my gosh, so cute. What do you mean coming along-ish? I think that's really good. Yeah, you guys are right that we needed that line in the middle for sure. You can hardly even see mine from there, but. Um, I'm stoked on all of your giraffes. Uh, we got another one. Oh my gosh, this family. Look at this Einstein giraffe. E equals MC squared. 
I love, look at all of them. Uh, <laughs> guys, I'm proud. Oh, Thursdays. I like that you did, like that, I love that. Now I wanna paint a rainbow giraffe like that. I'm copying Alyssa. <laughs> okay, you guys, holy man, today was a good one. I'm proud of you all. Are you guys proud? Because you should be. Because you should be. Now I have to make a, th I always have to make a thumbnail, but I never know what to do. <laughs> okay. What else? Does anyone have any questions while you got me? What time is it? 9.56. Look at this perfect almost two hours exact. You can do some white splatter if you want. That could be fun. Um, yeah. I got a couple days off. You guys, will, you've seen my face for the past three days. You'll have a little break. I'll be back Tuesday at 8 p.m. Mountain time. I always say it's like MDT, right? We're MDT right now. Um, uh, we're painting a cactus, if you guys want to paint a cactus. To all you newbies out there who's saying you can't paint, I promise you, you could knock out the coolest cactus ever. I promise. Um, you're excited for the cactus. Cool. Guys, it's a very... Oh, I should probably just show you. I have the painting. Oh, there's some other pictures getting sent in, too. How's that? This is what we are going to be painting on Tuesday. Flamingo is excited. I'm glad. The colors are so washed out for you for some reason, but that's fun. I remember the first, we did this live um, on Instagram, not Instagram, on Caffeine uh, a couple months ago. And I let people have the choice. Like if you want to just do one cactus, you could, you could do both at the same time. Um, it's whatever you want. We can decorate the pots. Um, we're going to leave a little bit more room for the pots because when we did it live, we added the pots at the end. That was kind of a, um, a last minute decision. So we're going to edit it a little bit for Tuesday, but that's what's going to be going down. Uh, and then a flower of some sort. Sunflower is super cute. Yeah, well, maybe a sunflower would be fun because there's like lots of like splotting and that's like all it's all about the techniques that are fun. Just throwing paints around. Yeah, prickly. So anyway, you guys know Tuesday we'll be doing that. If you don't watch them live, don't worry. They'll be up on YouTube shortly thereafter. I literally press end with you guys and then I go to YouTube and I just upload the video immediately. And it takes a bit of time to load, but uh Perfect. I'm glad that you guys are all excited. When you're excited, I'm excited. Um, yeah. Is that all, guys? <laughs> I'm probably going to be finishing Joe Exotic not live, but I will have those uh, time lapses up on my Instagram. The final will be up on my Instagram. Everyone, just follow me on Instagram. That's the way you know what's up with me. Um, thanks again for a great paint night. Thanks, you guys. I'm so, look how pumped you guys all are. I'm pumped. Um, another great paint night. Yeah, bedtime for Cassie. Oh, yeah. Happy belated birthday. We ended a little early to say happy birthday to her on Tuesday. So, everyone say happy birthday, Cassie. Good night. Um, I expect the challenge of making the cactus evil. That's going to be exciting, Lily. I... If anyone can do it, you can do it. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's all. We got plant night next week. Um, always feel free to send me a line anytime for any questions, any suggestions, any anything. It might take me some time to get back to you because I'm just drowning in messages. But I love getting them and I love to respond when I have the time, okay? I'm uh, not ignoring you, I swear. Uh, what else? I think that's it, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming. Um, I know oh, somebody in my DMs are asking about tips again. Uh, again, don't feel pressured. You don't have to tip. It's a free service for everyone to just have fun and learn something new. But if you're on caffeine, props are an option. Those things that people are sending at the bottom, those are tip options. Or e-transfers to taylorodinsky at gmail.com if you want. I hate saying it, but I get asked all the time, so I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you, and uh, see you on Tuesday. Got some time away from caffeine for a couple days. I'll miss you. 
And see you at 8 p.m. Tuesday the 12th. Okay? Okay. Bye, guys. You're the best.